If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR and y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I have a game breaking NBA 2K21 VC glitch. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this glitch ASAP. This VC glitch, you can literally rack up as much VC as you need. And this VC glitch is kind of like the NBA 2K19 endorsement glitch, which allowed us to go absolutely crazy. I've showed you guys how to do this on PS4 from JJ2K's video. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all boys how to do this endorsement glitch on Xbox. And I'm telling you guys, you can, you can rack up as much VC as you need. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this before it does get patched. And remember, all your VC will carry over to next gen. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop us up. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. So to start this glitch off, what you guys wanna do is go to your endorsement tab and you guys want to unlock your next endorsement. This is key. Whenever you wanna be, I wanna say within 10K fans of your next endorsement. Now I was doing this on a brand new player. So this next endorsement that I unlocked wasn't as big as an endorsement you would get if you had already gone in my career on a maxed out player or so. So the better endorsement you can get, you know, the more VC you can get, but it doesn't really matter because you can spam getting the same VC over and over again. So yeah, man, check your endorsement tab, see how far away you are from your next endorsement. Like I said, you wanna probably be within 10K fans of your next endorsement. And then within the next My Career game, you guys wanna ball out, get as many fans as possible. And this is what is gonna allow you to unlock the endorsement all right so look step number one to this glitch is play the next my career game that you guys have available now in this game if you're doing this on a new player you guys want to get to the fourth quarter and be able to save and quit with under 30 seconds left so if you're doing this on a new player what i would advise you guys to do is just get five fouls in the first half and that should allow you to play the whole entire rest of the game in the fourth quarter because you guys know how it is Whenever you are playing on a new player, it's extremely hard to play to the end of the fourth quarter. So a workaround to that, if you're doing this on a new player like I was in this video, is just get five fouls in the first half, and that should allow you to play all the way into the fourth quarter. Now, once you guys get your five fouls, what you guys wanna do is just get as many fans as possible. I found in this video, the best way to get fans especially on a low overall player is to just throw alley-oops so you'll see right here like i was just trying to spam and throw as many alley-oops as possible and it seemed like every single time that i would do that i would just gain more and more fans just by doing that now i'm doing this right now on a 74 overall player and if you have a max out player and you still need your to get some endorsements unlocked then that's going to make it a whole lot easier you see right there i got 1200 fans just by throwing one lob so yeah man you guys want to get to the fourth quarter and then with under like 30 seconds or so you guys just want to save and quit out of the my career game now once you save and quit out of the my career game what you guys want to do is close out the application and then you guys want to go ahead and reload the game back up now once you guys reload the game back up what you guys want to do is go ahead select on the player that you're currently doing the glitch on you guys will see like i said i was doing this on a, basically a brand new 74 overall player that i don't really play with and then um you guys will be loaded back into your my career game now once you get back into my career game all you guys want to do is just go ahead and let the game end so once you once the game ends, you guys will see you'll get your fans and all that good stuff. You guys will, you know, you'll get your rep and your badge progress. Now doing this glitch, it doesn't, you know, spam my points or badge progress or even VC from the game. But the key is you guys are getting enough fans to be able to unlock your endorsement. So you guys see I was able to unlock my second endorsement right here, the mobile endorsement. Now, once this happens, you guys should get this little um, this little message right here saying you have a meeting with your next endorsement. Big money should be involved. And then once you do that, just spam A through this right here. And then you guys can hit A through here as well. Now, I try to get as much VC as possible, but it's not gonna work. Like, I think I was trying to get a max VC offer and for the reason you guys know, know how 2K is, 
they're not gonna let you get as much VC. So what I did is you guys only wanna hit counter offer one time and make sure you accept their second offer because you don't want them to deny your sponsor. So don't get greedy. Like I said, you guys can spend this over and over again so it's not gonna matter. And then I hit um, just for your endorsement right there, just pick whatever. The, the next time I do this, I was able to get more VC because I didn't select an incentive. So once that happens, all you guys want to do is load into the neighborhood and then you guys want to go to the VC Sports Management Office. Now also, with this glitch, like I said, be very careful. I wouldn't go over 100k because I don't want to see you guys get banned. Make sure you guys take advantage of this before it does get patched. Just don't go too crazy because like I said, I don't want to see you guys get banned. So you guys are going to see right here, I'm going to get not only my sponsor from the one we just unlocked but apparently i never even went to the vc sports Man management office even on my other player that i got it out so apparently i had other sponsors from my other player as well so you guys are going to see right here that with this player i'm getting all my vc from my other player and then i'm also getting my last endorsement as well so once you guys get all your all of your vc all you guys want to do is close out the application and then you guys want to go to manage game and add-ons go to save data click a on your user profile and then hit delete from console do not delete from everywhere or you lose all your players make sure you guys hit delete from console now once you guys do that um you guys want to reload the game back up and then you guys want to go ahead and load up the player that you're currently doing the glitch on so you guys will see in this video um that i'm gonna go ahead and reload my 74 overall back up now once you guys do this you'll be put back at that point where we saved it at the beginning of the video which is key we're setting up the glitch perfectly now you guys want to go ahead and let this game run out once again now once this game runs out you guys will see that you will unlock all the fans once again and you will also unlock your endorsement once again as well so like i said with this glitch you guys can spend this over and over again and keep getting the same vc for the same endorsement so you guys will see once again um you'll, you'll unlock your endorsement and then once this happens what you guys want to do is just once again wait for the message to pop up that you have like a, a meeting or whatever and then from here you guys are able to adjust your endorsement so the best way that i recommend do this is go like 2000 and then put your incentive on zero and like i said i believe this time i was able to get a better vc offer from this endorsement so once they give you the second offer just accept it no matter what because you don't want them to not to deny the actual offer now once this happens go ahead and load back into the neighborhood and then once you get back into the neighborhood you guys just want to go back to the vc sports management office and you guys will see that you're able to collect your vc once again so once you guys collect your vc all you guys want to do is uh, close out the application go to manage game and add-ons and then you guys want to click on your user profile delete from console and then repeat over and over again so yeah man y'all boys go crazy with this vc glitch thank y'all boys so much for all the support man drop a like drop a sub i'm out peace